Hi, I'm Stephen Rupp with Super Chevy here with Danny Nix of CPP checking out the fuel system for our 55 Chevy for the CPP Super Chevy Week to Wicked presented by Golden Star Classic Auto Parts. And uh, we need a fuel system. And we, what do we got here? We got a, uh, this is a huge tank. I've done this tank before. It's 29 gallons, right? 29 gallons. Yes, wow. sir. That's yeah. a lot of gallons. You can drive literally all day with this tank. E85 guys would love this tank because E85, you cut your gas mileage just to so kind of help more make of up it. for it. There you go. So available in a 25 and a 29 gallon. So that's the tank. Um, it's, it's more of a universal mm -hmm. design. It's got a, a five bolt and six bolt sending unit flange for the fuel level sender. And then we have the fuel pump module flange over here. It's got an O-ring seal. The fuel pump module can drop in. Way better than the cork. Way better than the cork. If you're not running the fuel pump module, if you're running an external pump, we also have a plate that'll go on here with a vent fitting. So you still get a vent okay. on the top of the fuel tank, um, or you can put the fuel pump module in. Um, beyond that, we have the LS fuel install kit, even mm -hmm. though this is an LT engine. Yeah. Um, this is this is what it would take, the same sort of a setup for the LS, difference being that there's now a high pressure pump on the motor, so we're gonna still feed low, relatively low pressure. The Compared to what's at the engine, yes. Yeah, 58 PSI up to the motor, um, which is gonna manage from there up to the 2000 PSI for direct injection on the new LT engine. Thank you again, Drew Chevrolet. We yes. appreciate that motor. The kit itself is pretty basic install. All the hoses are push lock hoses with AN fittings. There's uh, AN adapters that go up on the fuel rail. There's AN adapters that are going to go into the, the filter and regulator unit. Um, I think to you're convert familiar. the trader valves over to the regular. You have several. They have several um, pump options. So we're running a 255. The 255 pump on this, which is good for about 600 horsepower. And then um, you have a 340. And we do the 340 pump also. The, the 340, they look the same. The 340 pump will do about 850 horsepower before you start to run out of fuel on that one. So it, it goes a long way. We also carry a line of, um, pressure, of fuel level senders. Mm -hmm. um, I have a few up here on the table, but we do all the popular ranges that'll fit the original gauges and it works for the aftermarket gauges just fine. And like this the case, Dakota Digital that we're running. Yes, but um, anyway, it's a really complete kit. Pretty much straight bolt on. Well, let's get these parts out there so we can try to get them up under the car today. Let's get it in that'd today. Be, that'd be, yeah, I wish we'd get the whole car done, but let's get this done today. Let's go.